Hello, welcome to the third session on slip velocity. Today we are going to calculate an example problem and we determine the slip velocity whether the flow rate is sufficient for the cuttings to get back to the surface or not. So why we are discussing this slip velocity already in the two sessions we had a good conversation regarding this and uh, at a glance I am just concentrating on what are the various uh, functions or uh, what you say need to calculate slip velocity okay so functions is so this is not or not we can call them as functions but need need or requirement to calculate slip velocity or requirement to track the slip velocity so first is stuck pipe so cuttings deposition makes this stuck pipe uh, an issue loss circulation due to the annular mud weight increase in annular mud weight there would be more hydrostatic pressure which in turn affect the formation which may cause the formation to break and uh, this is also called as a loss circulation and high torque and drag this torque and drag is when the clearance between when the clearance between the drill pipe and BHA and this hole is minimized due to this cuttings deposition while tripping while tripping or while rotating of the rotary table or a drill string we can we would be expecting high torques and drags and cementation jobs in the well if there are more cuttings deposited so cement cannot be penetrated all to the well bore and these cuttings will abstract the setting of the cement and rate of penetration and fifth is the rate of penetration yes if the cuttings are not uh, properly cleaned out from the well bore the rate of penetration would be decreasing and bit wear on or called as bit balling so bit balling is so if the rop is less and this bit is always cutting the same cuttings which we are drilling then the wear on the bit will be increasing and as we know that if the cuttings are uh, deposited in the endless for more long or cuttings are suspended or cuttings are settled in a well bore we'll experience high mud weights so coming to the problem we'll discuss this problem so what is the problem based on the following data determined if the flow rate from mud pump is sufficient flow rate from mud pump is sufficient to sweep the cuttings to the surface without forming cutting beds right an open hole of 6.3 inch has been drilled with a mud weight of 10 ppg the diameter of the cutting generated is 0.2 inch and the density of the cuttings is 20 ppg and from the fan vg viscometer we have a plastic viscosity of 15 cp and od of drill pipe is 4 inch okay we'll just put down the given data given data we have an open hole open hole diameter this dh is six point three inches and mud weight is 10 ppg and diameter of cuttings dc is 0.2 inches and density of cuttings density is 20 ppg and drill pipe od is 4 inches so the first step in determining the slip velocity is step one is determining the annular velocity in feet per minute so annular velocity can be calculated by using this formula here q is already we had given q which is in gallon per minute q here in gallon per minute is q is missing in this formula but we can and mud pump flow rate q is 300 gallon per minute okay q is 300 gallon per minute okay. 
so we'll we'll incorporate the same values in this formula q is 300 to 24.5 diameter of hole is 6.3 in square minus diameter of drill pipe is od is 4 so this is equal to if we calculate this comes around 310 feet per minute so annular velocity is equal to 310 feet per minute so a drilling fluid is traveling through the annulus with a speed of 310 feet per minute and the second step in determining is cutting slip velocity so we have this formula which we discussed in the session too so incorporating the same we will be getting vs is equal to so 0 0.45 into pv that is plastic viscosity which we got pv from from the given data we have pv is equal to 15 cp so pv is 15 cp 15 mud weight is 10 ppg and diameter of cuttings is 0.2 inch and diameter here is same values and density of cutting is 20 ppg and mud weight is 10 ppg so we'd be substituting the above data in this formula we would be getting vs is equal to around 36 feet per minute so the question is we have to determine the whether a mud pump flow rate the mud pump flow rate q is sufficient to transfer the cuttings to the top so so we have to get in the step three we have to calculate net rise velocity which is the difference between step one which is angular velocity and difference between step two step two is cutting slip velocity vs so in the first step we got 310 feet per minute minus 36 feet per minute this is almost equal to, to 310 minus 36 is equal to 274 feet per minute. So here we can observe, here we can observe that net rise velocity, net rise velocity is positive and is greater than way greater than the slip velocity so this indicates a good hole cleaning and from the question yes the flow rate from the mud pump which is q is 300 gallon per minute is sufficient for this open hole to get the cuttings back to the surface so this is how we'll calculate the slip velocity and please be please subscribe for more videos and if you have any questions regarding this you can share it here in the below comments thank you